Hey there guys, the Netwerkberg here. Hope you're doing well. Now in this video, we will be talking a little bit about Juniper, who they are, what type of services they work on, as well as a bit about their free training that they offer and the benefits that you can get if you attend the free training. Now, I'm not a master in Juniper. I haven't worked on it since 2015, so it's definitely been a while, but I think it's a fun thing to just get back into, especially now that I've immigrated to a different country and I can see how actively Juniper is used this side. Even though back in South Africa, it was also actively used in the back end for a lot of systems. I've worked on the MX80s, MX960s, and the SRXs, but I know things have changed a lot since that time period so this is a good time for me to get back into it and just relearn juniper as well and you guys if you've been around on the channel for a while you know that i lab everything and i try to explain it in simple terms and showcase how things actually function in these lab environments so expect to see a lot of that when it comes to juniper as well but i think that's enough of the intro let's dive into the video So who exactly is Juniper or Juniper Networks? Now, they are actually a industry leading networking vendor. They provide solutions to carriers, ISPs, as well as cloud providers, you know, like Azure or AWS. They provide solutions to these big data type of places. All of their equipment are built for various different scenarios or solutions. You've got stuff like their MX routers, which is extensively deployed in the service provider networks. So that you can give stuff like MPLS or SD-WAN to clients. You can do stuff like layer three or layer two VPNs. You can do very complex routing protocol setups or use routing protocols like BGP, OSPF or ISIS. The list just goes on with how feature rich their routers are. But besides their routers, they also have their switching models. So their switches, they are the Juniper, I think EX switches. And these switches can be placed maybe in a data center. They might have many different blades and modules that you can connect your servers onto and push big data. I'm talking about like 100 gigabit ethernet, 400 gigabit ethernet, big, big chunky beasts to just push a lot of traffic across. And besides that, they also have stuff like their firewalls. So you have uh, Juniper SRXs, which provide firewalling services. It works on the same operating system as well. Everything's just Junos, but they're built for specific use cases as well. And Juniper is so industry leading. They have stuff like AI as well, and they're very involved with DevOps. So Juniper is so far ahead when it comes to a lot of things that you'll see a lot of companies kind of emulate what they do. Now, what I really, really like about Juniper is as well how transferable their skills are. If you if you use Juniper, it's very transferable to any other vendor as well. And their certification program really stands out for me. Now, I'm just quickly going to switch my screen to my screen view. So with my screen view on now, we can see that I'm on Juniper's website. Here's a nice little about us. So you're welcome to come and read through who Juniper is and wh what they kind of do. But I want to get onto their getting started or get started with free Juniper training. Now, this is awesome to me that they provide this free training and it's for all of their various different tracks. Here you can see you've got your JNCIA Junos, which is just an introduction to the operating system as well as all of the features that you might use in it. And you can see there's a lot of different things, cloud, security, Mist AI, design. So if you like to design networks, you know, grab Visio or draw.io and just make this nice topology and show where everything's connecting and how a solution is going to work. They've got that as well. They've got DevOps and they've got DC. But besides these free training tracks that you can actually, all of them is free. You can go into the specialist as well and there's additional free training on here. So for service provider, which is what I'm very interested in and what I'm going to be following along with specifically, you've got your enterprise or you've got security. Now, obviously you see I'm dropping down here between different boxes, and that's also the point. That's something Juniper, I think, maybe does a little bit differently to something like Cisco, because Juniper, you have your associate level, then you have a specialist level, which is the second tier, you can say, then you've got your professional level, so that's the IP, and then you've got your expert level, so a, C, a JNCIE. Now, this is obviously the level that everybody wants to reach at the end, a JNCIE, because this means that you, you know everything, you're at the head of it, and you're such a complete expert when it comes to all of these Juniper solutions. Now, I hopefully will one day become a JNCIE service provider as well. Hold thumbs for me, join me on the journey while we go through all of this. But it's so cool for me that the first two tracks basically has all of this 
or the first two levels has all of this free training to complement your skill set. And the coolest bit for me is the second step. And this is also quite unheard of because you can get an exam voucher, a discounted exam voucher. So typically a Juniper JNCIA costs 200 US dollars. So if you just drop that by 75%, you only pay 50 bucks to get the chance to write your JNCIA and potentially pass the exam. But for only $50, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, if you compare this to something like a CCNA, the CCNA alone costs like 300 USD without a voucher. Now, don't get me wrong, you can still get vouchers for something like a CCNA as well. But many times that is coupled with a company and some partnership with a distributor and they might give free vouchers depending on how many pieces of equipment you might buy from them. That's typically how it is in the real world with ISPs and such. And this is different with Juniper because I, as an individual, I, I'm currently unemployed. I can go into their website, I can register for the exams, and or not the, I can register for the training. And then if I pass a, let's say, mock exam at the end of the training, I can get a voucher to have a $50 exam. And then once you've obviously done that, you can go through the next steps. You can probably register on something like Pearson View and do the exam through there, a proctored exam most likely and get your certificate. That's freaking awesome. I can't wait to do this myself. But let's scroll down specifically into the Junos Associate, the JNCIA Junos, because that's where I'm going to have to start as well. And here we can see what type of things it will cover. I want to just go into the course modules quickly because here it will show you exactly what the modules are, the stuff that you will be learning, as well as what the duration is for all of this. Now there is no lab or anything here, but everything is basically required except the getting started with networking. But I appreciate that they have the six hour lab at the beginning explaining how networking works, giving you networking fundamentals. It's like a free network plus course inside the JNCIA Junos. And then we go through all of these other modules, how they work, how they function, and just go through everything. And again, this costs you nothing. You can join this training, add it to your card, just need to have a registered email account with them. I've actually signed up with a Hotmail address, which is a free email account, and I could go through this training. You only have access to it for six months because obviously they don't want you to get repeat vouchers and stuff like I, I don't know exactly what the reasoning is behind it but I think that's awesome I really think I appreciate that Juniper has been doing this I know other channels might have covered this as well I've only found out about this now so maybe it's old news to you but to me it's new news and maybe you're somebody like me that's just been working with something like Microtech for the last five years and this might just be a good reason for you to pick up something else pick up something like Juniper and learn it and I hope maybe this can also grow your own career if you're looking for some way to just push forward. Now, this is going to be where I'll end off the video. Uh, again, this is not sponsored in any way by Juniper. I just find it so cool that they've done this. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.